Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Thales and you're about to watch another how to slice video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the broken elm. So let's go. So I just imported the model to Orca Slicer. You can use any slicer you want. I'm using Orca just because I prefer. Okay, so let's start. Before um, configuring any of these configurations right here on the side, we're going to take a look in the model and see first off if it needs support. So let's just take a look in the model. It might seem that we need support right here on this region, but actually we don't need support. A quick tip for you guys to see if uh, the model needs or doesn't need support is by using the support, pa support painting. Right here in support painting, you're going to choose this highlight overhangs. See that the model is um, gray by using the highlight areas we're going to be um, increasing it by 40 degrees and we're going to see that the areas turn red okay in the the, in the areas that are red it shows that it's more critical and some um, filament cannot do the overhang properly so in the areas that it might seem um, uh, that it's red, you can use the paintbrush to paint it. So I painted already this in green right here, this, this, the side and the front of the model. This is where I really think there needs, there needs support. This, this area is crucial and this area I just put it for safety reasons, just because it might, but it's better safe than sorry, right? In this region right here, it does not need support because it's really straight. The printer can do the overhang and we will not spill those filaments everywhere. Okay. So after you draw um, the region that you want, it's going to turn to green. So the support painting, it's really, um, it's really important. Okay. So let's go back to the um, configurations right here. I'm using the profile for Ender3v3 SE just because it's a widely known model and really popular. Okay, we're using PLA and right here in layer height I'm gonna leave it at 0.2 millimeters because it's a really big project and if you decrease um, this value it's gonna um, take too much time to print. And then sometimes 0.2 millimeter is enough, so you don't have to go lower, okay? In strength, you can leave it at two wall loops, okay? Because it's a decoration model. It doesn't need that much strength, okay? And right here in infill, I'm gonna reduce it to 10% because it doesn't, it doesn't need to be that strong. And I'm gonna choose gyroid. Gyroid is a really nice infill, okay? Right here in support, I'm going to be enabling support. And right here, I'm going to choose manual because we painted the model. So it has to be manual. And I'm going to be choosing the tree manual. I use tree because it builds branches and um, it touches the model in a way that's really nice to um, get rid of those supports. It will, it will be not stuck too much to the piece. And sometimes the branch can fail, but it will hold on to other branches. So it's, I really like using that um, support structure, okay? So this is my recommendations for this model. So I just sliced the model right here, and I did not enable supports just to show you. In this front portion of the helmet right here, in blue as you can see this tiny dot it was it was about to print midair and you might get some dripping of filament right here and that wouldn't be nice um it's really in front of the helmet so it wouldn't look good right so that's why it really needs support okay this is an angle and a model that cannot be printed without support in this region okay so there goes to show the importance of taking a look and making sure you have good support, okay? Okay guys, so the model is ready to print. 
make sure you check our site, stlflex.com. We got a bunch of beautiful models there. So, bye bye. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflex. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.